Hey, my name is Ario D. Juiced, and let's talk real quick. I want to get into this conversation, this this conversation, excuse me, right now. So, um, basically, I want to talk about how. Um, well, let's let's just say this. I saw this video on YouTube, um, <clears throat> and it basically spoke about how how like, like today's dating market is not what it used to be, stuff like that, right? And they went on and on about how things are changing, how people are not what they used to be 20 years ago. Got it. But here's my take on that. Um, it's not it's not so much about dating. It's more about the economy, right? And the economy is affecting people, obviously, right? That's that's just the way I um, after watching video. That's what I came up with. The, like to me, the reason why people are not the same as they were 20 plus years ago or even 10 years ago. The world has changed, right? The world is not what it used to be. And what I mean by that is, let's just start with, with tech itself. Tech is moving fast. I mean, people live on their phones nowadays, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. That's not a bad thing. It could be a good thing too. But um, it's just, it is what it is. People are, are glued to their devices. Um, but that's to me, that to me is the difference with, you know, a couple years ago and today people are on their phones hardcore like people watch more tiktok or netflix than cable television can we can, can we say that right that's just fact so again things are changing because of tech or just the economy and that's why to me people are changing which does also affect the dating market here's my take on today's dating market and how the economy is changing that alone right the economy is changing the dating market and it's changing it's changing it by this way to me it is to me official now that dating is now a luxury according to this economy dating has now become a luxury only certain people could date in today's world how and why or and or why and or why <laughs> or why because it's expensive, right? Now, I'm a married man. So, I saw how things were back then. Like, just going to a restaurant. Like, places like Bole, right? I'm not sure if you've heard of this restaurant. It's almost like a Chipotle-style restaurant. Um, it's kind of like a Mediterranean, somewhat Asian, mixed restaurant. Delicious food, right? I go to that all the time. But a large bowl, because you, you could, I think, you can, like, build your own bowl like Chipotle, right? And to build your own bowl used to be like seven ninety nine, right? Today it's like twelve ninety nine. It's like thirteen bucks for a bowl at Bole. It's so expensive. I still go there, but I'm just trying to show you how things. Everything went up. The economy is it's <laughs> everything went up, and that's causing a lot of people to have no time for dating, or you know they just don't have the money for it. They cannot afford going to a date. Now, my wife and I. We, we always go out to, you know, restaurants. We love going to, like, to different spots. We love going out to eat, you know. I love eating at home as well, too. But we enjoy eating out a lot. And um, it's, it's it's expensive. It is pricey. The The average bill for us, too, is at least 100 bucks minimum. And it was never this expensive. And, this is, and these are, like, places like BJ's Restaurant, right? Um, places like the Owl House, the average is be, it, at least a hundred bucks. That's appetizers, food, drinks, a hundred dollars minimum. Imagine a family of four or three. It is expensive. So imagine going out to a date with somebody, right? You meet someone, you want to take them out to eat, whatever. Usually, the, like the guy's supposed to pay for the women's bill, whatever. The point is the bill. Amongst those two, is, are, is going to be at least hundred dollars, and you know for a fact, the restaurant is going to be somewhere fancy, not somewhere, you know, the opposite. You want to wine and dine her, you want to show her a good time, blah blah blah. It's going to cost you some money. That's just the bill for the restaurant. We're not even including parking, gas. What I mean, maybe you got a haircut, you bought a new outfit. I don't know. And also time, but all the all this to me is just showing how it it to me it's official that dating has not become a luxury. Only certain people can do it because you can't afford it. 
In today's economy, some people cannot afford going out to a nice restaurant to wine and dine someone that they, they just met or they want to get to know or whatever. You get my point. It's expensive. Something else. Um, it's also becoming a luxury to have children <laughs> because of the economy. Everything has gone up. You see it for yourself in parts of the country, the U.S., you know, um, Different types of foods are expensive. Again, look at Bole, their restaurant. Even Taco Bell. They jack up the prices over there too. There's no dollar menu anymore. There's 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 no dollar store. It's like it's like a dollar twenty-five, something like that, right? Like a dollar twenty-five at the dollar store. Everything went up. Maybe that's not a big deal to you, 25 cents. But the point is the economy is now it's just expensive. Only certain people can do these things nowadays. And dating has was affected by the economy. You know, just my opinion. You know, I don't know everything, but I'm just seeing... I'm just going off my experience, right? Because I'm, I'm a 38-year-old man, right? I'm 38. And I do remember a time gas was like a dollar something for, for regular. It was like a dollar 15 when I was in high school. <laughs> or sometimes even less than that. This is like 20, 2002. Like I just I graduated high school. Gas was at least a dollar ten, something like that. A dollar and ten cents. With, with three nineteen average, three twenty five. Everything has gone up. Even cars are expensive. Are have gone up. And tech is not helping either because now it's more convenience that you're paying for. Like the electric cars, cars now have Wi Fi installed in them. You know, like they're smart cars, they do a lot. Our phones are even more expensive, they do a lot. Not just again, the whole point is it is now a luxury to date. If you're trying to date somebody, I hope you have the money for it. I, I hope you have enough money to take the person out because I think you see for yourself, maybe you watching this, you see for yourself, it's expensive, it's really not cheap. <laughs> it's not cheap to do this. Average bill is at least a hundred bucks at a nice restaurant. Average. So, like I said, that's just my opinion. That's just what I'm seeing right now, right now in today's world. Like when I when when I saw the video, it said people are changing. It's true, people have changed. They have no choice but to. I mean, we just came from a pandemic. We're still getting away from it, some weird way, <laughs> I think. So that, that caused a lot of people to think differently now to like, you know, try to really be careful with their health and all that stuff, who they're around. So that changed people alone that way, right? That situation itself changed the entire world. It, it just did. And of course, a situation like the economy being so, being, being different, rent has gone up crazy. You won't, let's not even talk about the rent. Let's not even talk about rent. It is insane. Like, no one has time to have fun anymore. What some of us don't have time for. It. We all have to put in so much more work to catch up. Inflation. Like, people have to catch up because the wages are not going up, but inflation is. Everything went up but your pay. So you don't have the time to have fun and meet people and date and do all those fun things 10 plus years ago. It's, it's a wrap. We're, there's no such thing as deflation. It's always inflation. It's never going down. Or if it does, you hardly hear about it. It's always, always going up. And people are trying to catch up. And they cannot, they just do not have the time and the luxury to go and date because they're trying to pay their bills because of this economy. So I'm telling you, even marriage is also a luxury. This is not cheap too. Being married is not cheap. <laughs> it is especially trying to get married in this country, the U.S. I had the whole ceremony, the whole. You can't afford it, you know. You cannot afford it. It is a luxury. It is a luxury to date. That might be the title of this video. It's a luxury to have children. It's it's for certain class of people. We are here. We we are we are definitely in a. Or just in an era where the middle class is like it's really going away. It's not what it used to be anymore, man. It's really costly. And that's that's really causing a lot of people to not have the time. And uh, just not to ha not have the time or the money, let's be real, or the money to 
experience these luxuries nowadays. Dating, marriage, children. Owning a house, let's not even talk about that alone. Or rent. It's a luxury. It, it is now a luxury and it's going to get worse. A lot of things are going to, it's going to just keep going up. And I pray to God you have the skills, you have the money to, to, to be able to afford today's lifestyle. If you're trying to live that lifestyle, whatever it is that you're trying to do, you know, meet people, date and all that stuff and go to, you know, go on trips. It requires a lot of money. That's just even traveling is for, that might also be a luxury too. That's not, that's also a luxury itself. Traveling, vacationing. We are here. We are definitely in this era where a lot of things that were once for everyone is now for certain people. I will say even sports, like biking, like some kind of hobby that consists of some kind of sport like golfing. You know, if you're a cyclist, mountain biking or road biking, if that is a freaking thing, if, that, if I said that properly, um, playing soccer, it all requires money. Skiing, it's, it's a luxury and it's so expensive because of inflation. And it's going to get worse. Everything has gone up, causing a lot of people to change because they cannot keep up with inflation because of their wages. I pray to God I'm making sense to you. What is the solution, I guess? I would say to you is find a new skill. If your job is not paying you enough money, get a new skill. But just get a skill that's that's valuable, that's, that's in demand, that makes a lot of money, of course. And do that. If that makes any sense to you. Right. Find an, if anything, something in tech makes sense to me. Something in that field makes sense. But that's not what I'm here for. This, this video is not for me to give advice. But to me, that would be a solution that I would do if I were in your shoes where I cannot afford my lifestyle or because I'm trying to catch up. If I need more money, I would change my I'll change my um, skills, get something else and try a new skill and just like really do some research and figure out what's going on out here. How can I make some more money? Because, yo, these things are now luxury. Getting, having children, dating, marrying, traveling, going on vacations, having some kind of a sport or hobby. All those things are not a luxury. It's not for everybody anymore. Because some people just cannot afford these things. Because it's too much money. Because of inflation. <sighs> much love to you. Thanks for watching this video. Peace out. Um, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear your take on this, but... We are here. This is the new era where inflation or just a lot of things are not a luxury for a lot of us, sadly. So don't get left behind. Find a new skill. Peace, I'm out. Peace, I'm out. Thanks for watching.